let's dive into your first question, mate. How is your yeah. what what is your strategy and philosophy? How and how has it evolved over the years from a brand awareness point of view? Listen, I'll be completely honest with you. Um, I've really never really had a, a, honestly a strategy behind Woodford. The main thing was has always been being authentic. And I think a lot of kids who come out of uni, look, anyone in general, you're always going to have like a someone who you idolize. And for me, that was DeFranco. Like he he was the man. And what were, you know, I looked at when I started in 2012, Woodford 2012, there was really no one out there. Bar Durham, who was doing his thing at Craig Me Wrong Body World, I'm pretty sure. But in terms of heavy promotion, I mean, I started Woodford before I was just doing it on Facebook. And I think the, the big thing that I wanted to get across was who was like, what could I offer athletes and non-athletes in terms of, say, so I wanted to train with me. So kind of like I wanted to give like a, a, as much education, as much free information as I could as possible. In terms of scripts, scheduling, organisation, things like that, how much of your week is planned and how much of it is off the cuff, on the fly? Uh, you've been yeah, yeah. I've actually got my operations manager next to me who she does. Um, listen, my personal opinion for everyone out there is to get someone who's going to run the back end. If, if you're lucky enough to have enough money in your business or find someone who cares about you that much, they're willing to put their life on hold for you. Um, definitely give that side of your business to that person. Unless you love that back end and you love, love that side of the business, yeah. Um, for me, I don't like that. I'm not the best at organization. I'm pretty much off the cuff with everything I do. I mean, I've done that many presentations in front of what 50 to 60, 70 people, and I haven't planned anything. It's come off the top of my head. I'm not saying that's the best way to do it. I don't think anyone should do it the way I do it, but that's just what works for me. Um, I just come from the heart. So I think in terms of planning, uh, Kieran will plan my week for me. Um, she'll get in contact, mostly generally speaking with my athletes. We'll put up in terms of uh, plan the whole week out. Um, I've got podcasts. I've got other things that I have to structure up. But for everyone out there um, listening, my, my suggestion is if you're not into, if you don't like that side of it, find someone who you can trust, who can structure your your time out. That's very important to understand because time management is such a big thing. How did you come? Was that DeFranco that recommended that, like in terms of systems and, and delegating and, and building a team around you, or well, is that something that just built? Uh, I think that experience? obviously I've talked to, had many conversations with Joe about um, back end and about business. He's helped me a lot with it. Um, but I think Kieran, with her background, I've got to give her respect. Um, and she is right here, so I should always give her respect anyway. But um, she has changed my life in terms of. Um, always being there for me, always structuring up. And she's that's her strength. So I think what you were saying was everyone's going to have their strengths and weaknesses. That's the same with my staff. So but me sending um, young Dirk to, well, Dirk got it, but helping him out, out to go to Iowa and the football department's huge because when he comes back, I'm looking at kind of changing up a bit and him taking my position and me moving back a little bit more, um, which he does anyway because he's so good at his job. 